So with everything that is going around in this world today, wars and rumors of wars, deception, false prophets, false teachings, and in different parts of the world, people are asking these questions if these things are biblical. My question to you all is, do you read the Bible, the Holy Bible, the Word of God? Because rather than worrying or stressing out about everything or anything, we are called to abide in our Lord, in His Word, to believe in Him. So that when you read the Word of God, which is the Holy Bible, that's how you come to know the character of God. And all these things which are taking place in our lives and all those things which will in the future take place in our lives. It's all in the prophecy. That's why it is very, very essential for us as believers to read the Holy Bible. And even if you're not a believer, this is the time. Today is the day of salvation. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Repent and believe in the Lord Jesus. And read His word every single day. And He will speak to you like He does speak to all of the believers. Amen. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new over here, my name is Ragini. I do upload faith-based videos twice a week. So do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. That way you will be notified on time as soon as I upload new videos. And in today's video, I'm going to discuss with you about the end time prophecies and all that is going around in this world, including the rumors of wars. And I'm also going to talk to you all about how important it is for us to read the Holy Bible so as to know why these things are happening and what's going to happen next. Yes, we are not given specific dates or times in the Holy Bible or where they're going to happen. But the Word of God is the living Word of God. And most of the prophecies have already come to pass. And now also, right now also, we can see that most of the prophecies are slowly but surely being fulfilled. So we hear about Ukraine and Russia and the wars and the rumors of wars. And people are worried, are asking these questions. Why does a loving God give suffering and pain? But God does not give us suffering and pain. The sin came in our life because of Adam and Eve. Because God created two perfect human beings. We read that in the book of Genesis, Adam and Eve. And God told them what not to do, not to eat from that specific tree, which bears the knowledge of good and evil. But they still rebelled against God. And that's how sin entered in this world. And through one man, Adam, we all were into this curse. And now through another man and God incarnate, Christ, who died on the cross for our sins, now we are forgiven because of what he has done for us. Amen. So that's why suffering and pain and good and evil, all this took place from day one. But the question is, where is our focus? Now, talking about everything that's happening right now, the rumors and wars of rumors and deceptions and false prophets and then earthquakes and things like this. Are these things in the Bible? Are these things prophesied? Are these things spoken by our Lord and our Savior Jesus? Well, the answer is yes. The question here is, are you reading the Bible? Are you believing in Christ and believing in what he has said and what he has spoken through his holy spirit to the prophets who wrote the bible that is the main question now i've also heard a lot of people saying oh it's a boring book and it's a big book it's old stuff it's historical it's never true but the word of god clearly says that it is living word of god it convicts you the word of god because in the beginning was the word the word was with god and the word was god and the word is the scriptures the holy scriptures the bible and that is very, very important for us as believers to abide in the Lord every single day. Now, before I get started, I also made another video related to the signs of the coming of our Lord or the signs of the end times. And I will put it somewhere up here and I will also link it down below in the description box. So make sure you check it out because that has more in that information about the book of Matthew chapter 24. Now, if you have your Bibles, please go ahead and open the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 3 to 8. Let's read. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, now he is Jesus, when he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? Now, the disciples are curious. Like right now, we all are curious to know what's happening 
and what's going to happen next. In the same manner, at that time, the disciples were curious and they went to Christ while he was sitting on the Mount of Olives and they, and they asked him, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. That's the very first thing our Lord told the disciples. That take heed that no man deceives you. That means deception is the first thing in the end times, right? So that's the first thing we notice what our Lord told to the disciples. Deception. For many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. This is a Lord telling the disciples that many shall come in his name and say that I am Christ and deceive many. So we see the first thing is deception. The second thing is false prophets or people who claim to be Jesus. And, and as I said before, I've made a specific video in details about those people who claimed to be Jesus. Again, I'll link it down below. And then Jesus said, And shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. And he kept on telling the disciples that you guys will hear about the rumors and the wars of rumors. And for the nation will rise against nation. So you see this word, you should highlight it in your Bible. Wars and rumors of wars. Nations rising against nations. Isn't that what we're facing right now? The Word of God clearly talks about wars and rumors of wars. And not only that, but he continues saying that, See that ye not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So he continues and says that do not be troubled, because these things have to come to pass. But the end is not yet near. So when is the end? We continue seeing over here, and there shall be famines and pestilences, sicknesses, and earthquakes in diverse places. Now, the meaning of diverse is in different places. And as per my research and as per other people's research, earthquakes are happening now more than before. So these are the signs. All these things are beginning of sorrows. Now, when we heard about the Ukraine and Russia uh, wars and stuff, we definitely started thinking about the end of times or the coming of our Lord. But again, Jesus over here, he told the disciples that this is just the beginning of sorrows. These are the beginning of sorrows. And he takes an example of a woman who gets pregnant before her delivery date. She does have all these birth pangs or pains. These are the beginning of sorrows. This is just like a trailer, I can say. These are very clear signs and it is in the Bible. And how do we know that God spoke about these things? Or these things are biblical? Because we read the word of God. Because God has removed our veil and called us and chosen us for his kingdom and his glory. So now it's our duty to abide in him, to Seek him with all of our heart, mind, and soul to read his word. And that's why it's very important for us to read the Bible. And before also reading, praying and asking our Lord to guide us and to speak to us through his Holy Spirit, through the word. Now talking about rumor, the meaning of rumor in Greek word is akoe. The faculty of hearing, having itching ears. Like one of the verses says, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 3, it says, Time will come when people will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So basically this itching ears or rumors, it's what people want to hear. They like this breaking news, this gossip about what's happening in the world. But the main thing over here is to see the signs of the age and to abide in our Lord and ask him to help us to overcome these problems. Now there are so many other prophecies about Gog and Magog from the book of Ezekiel 38 and other things. There are so many specific prophecies that is going to be fulfilled in the future and most of the prophecies have already been fulfilled. And I will not go in details because in this video I'm specifically talking about the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 3 to 8. But the entire video today is all about 
we are so much worried about what's happening in the world and i'm sure it is yes i understand the frustration it is painful for what people are going through it is bad i know that but when we say that why god is doing this is this biblical is this in the bible or when as a pastor as a prophet as a teacher as a preacher as a child of god you go out there to share these things which is in the bible with some people they would disagree and that's why the word of god is very clear that they will be having itching ears they want they won't believe in the sound doctrine but they want to go and listen only what they want to listen or gossip and hear and talk about only they like so before we jump on to the conclusions it's our duty to read and soak ourselves in the word of god because literally wars and earthquakes and pestilences and everything is right there in this one verse matthew 24 and actually our lord jesus told the disciples that these things will happen so when we go through these things we already know these things are going to take place because god himself spoke to humans to disciples and now the holy spirit is speaking to us through his word and through other people amen all i want to do is to request you all to definitely first to pray and to abide in our lord and our savior and in his word because the more you abide in him through reading his word and prayer that's how god speaks to us and alerts us it shows us all that is to come i really hope this video was an encouragement for you and the word of god will set you free so make sure you take out time to read your bible and prayer and i will see you all in my next video until then you guys take care god bless you all and stay rooted in christ bye